In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite cover three bombs in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden player they could possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. Now in the Seattle Seahawks playbook, you want to pick any play out of Gun Bunch. It doesn't matter what play because we're not even going to run Gun Bunch but just pick any play out of Gun Bunch. What you're gonna see is the defense um, is going to come out with their cover three looking like this. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna audible over to the PA boot over out of the bunch tight end in the Seattle Seahawks playbook. That's gonna cause them to have to do a lot of different adjustments and really just try to kind of figure out a, a coverage. And so this is basically the best coverage they could possibly create from a cover three. And here's how we're gonna bomb it. All we're going to do is we're just going to put the circle receiver on a streak and we're going to put the tight end on a delay fade and double team the defensive tackle on the outside of the defensive end. And what you're going to see here is this post, this skinny post, just pass lead that to the right. And as you can see, it's going to absolutely obliterate this defense. Now, I just released my Seattle Seahawks offensive guide, and I'm actually updating it over the course of the next couple of weeks as different patches come out and zones change a little bit. But by and large, this is one of my favorite little uh, offenses that I've ever created. I've been routinely putting up 50 to 60 points every single game. I find that I only get stopped if I make a mistake. And so if you want to get my full Seattle Seahawks offensive guide, I'm going to put a link to it down in the description of this video. But let me show you this cover three beater one more time, and then we're going to go over some of the other reads on this play. And what I love about this is just how simple it really is. And oftentimes their user is going to go to this crossing route to the trying receiver who's open in and of his own right. But as you can see, look at how open that skinny post route is against this. This is gonna really help you break down the deep blue coverages. And again, if you wanna get this offensive guide, I put everything uh, that I know from this in the offensive guide. You can get that down in the description. Okay guys, so I wanted to go over one of our, uh, a couple of other reads within this offense. And the first one is um, essentially the crosser. So the crosser is your, pretty much your first read. And what you're gonna see here is I can basically just pass lead that up and it's gonna be cover three as well, as you can see right there. So if the crosser's open, take it. 99.9% .9 of the time, if your opponent has any uh, skill whatsoever, they are going to um, go manually control or manually user the crosser. Um, that's typically kind of the, the, the common logic within this. And so what you're gonna see happens is by result of them usering and having the user the crossing route, that's where this post route lead comes open. As you see here, I'm just rolling out, rolling out, rolling out. And then I'm just gonna pass lead that up. There was a little late, but as you can see, that cover three bomb is super consistent and really, really very effective against not just cover three, but against a lot of other coverages as well. One of the other things that I really like to uh, do out of this playbook is how this can also really do a good job at beating man-to-man um, -man coverage. So it doesn't just beat cover three, but it's also gonna be able to basically beat every coverage. One of the best coverages that it is going to be able to beat is man-to-man -man coverage. It really does a good job of having nice deep passing uh, concepts. But the first route obviously is your crosser. As you can see, that route will oftentimes beat the cover two man for at least 30 to 45 yards. And you also have your skinny post coming over the top of this. And the skinny post, in my opinion this year, a streak with a skinny post coming underneath it is one of the best cover three and really mean coverage bombing concepts, at least as the game sits right now. They may patch this or change it. What you're going to see here, um, if all that breaks down, you can always just check down to your delay fade. Even though man coverage stays with them this year, it doesn't actually mean they react. And so as you saw right there, I can throw right at the man coverage and just trust that that delay fade is going to be consistent. If you don't like that delay fade route, what you could actually do is you could take your tight end and put him on a delay drag route. And you're gonna see this is what that's gonna look like, a little delay drag route. Um, and then you see here that if everything is covered, then you can easily just take up with your quarterback. So this is one of the most powerful plays year in and year out within Madden. And it's no different in this year's game. Um, as far as cover two goes, obviously most people um, that have any skill level aren't really calling cover three this year. But I do wanna show you kind of what this looks like, or I'm sorry, cover two. I just wanna show you kind of what this does to cover two. So again, you're just rolling out. And what you're gonna see here is the square receiver is gonna get wide open. Obviously Brady needs to make that throw, but as you can see, the window is open for him to be able to make that throw. 
Now the last defense that I want to go over is essentially cover four quarters. As you can see here, I've kind of created uh, a makeshift cover four defense. And I just want to show you this defense. And again, basically what you're doing, it's actually a very, very deep high-low read. You're reading the crosser to the post to the delay fade. So as you get out of the pocket here, what you're gonna see is that post route will absolutely obliterate cover four over the top for a one-play score. So this is one of my favorite passing plays whenever I need a big play in the half, something like that. This play is awesome. So thanks for watching this video. And again, if you wanna get my Seattle Seahawks offensive guide, I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description. You can get the full scheme for just 15 bucks. And we're actually gonna throw in a couple of bonus mini schemes for you if you buy with if you buy the guide before August 31st. So thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys later.